Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm out here in Siesta Beach, Sarasota, Florida. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the Texas site. We're working on the uh, one on stranded gas. Talking about how we plan on setting that up, how we plan on running the cabinets, what type of uh, gents that we plan on using, containers and all that stuff, and how that's all going to come together. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking to build yourself a data center on your own property, you're looking to jump in with us in North Dakota or in Texas, we have all of that available at CryptoLLC.org. Again, you can get yourself one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 megawatts in Texas, all on stranded gas. So before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, let's go. So hopefully you guys like the scenery in today's video. A lot of people out here. I barely found parking. It's really full. Anyway, so what we plan on doing for our uh, stranded gas site in Texas. So the way we uh, are setting that one up is we're going to be running three cabinets rather than two cabinets. So the reason for that is because uh, finding gen sets that are like 500 K dub, you know, and above continuously uh, loaded at 500 K dubs is practically impossible to get that EPA certified, you know, for usage in the United States. You need to have your gen sets EPA certified to be used for such scenarios in the United States. You can't just import not EPA certified gen sets. So you got to use United States. So United States, to get a 500 K dub, it becomes more and more of uh, either you got to pay a lot of money to get those gen sets. Like it makes it impossible for us to offer what we do for our clients. Um, it's impossible to do that if we get, you know, a, a, a one megawatt, two megawatt, three megawatt Caterpillar or Cummins engines. Um, that's very, very hard to do. So the uh, way we're going to uh, get that resolved is we're going to be using 350 K dub continuous loaded. Um, it's, but it's, it depends on the gas quality and all that stuff, but it's around 350. It could be 330, 320, 350, somewhere around there. But uh, those gen sets are EPA certified. They're in the United States, they're made in the United States, and they're made for the United States. So that's great news. Um, then we have the problem of how are you gonna do that with the uh, container setup we have now, where we have two cabinets. So to solve that issue, we have redesigned our containers to be three cabinet containers. So we're gonna have three cabinets per megawatt. Each cabinet is then uh, rated for 330, or 330, 340. Um, and so forth. So that means when you load it up with these gen sets, you can run a megawatt. So there are some great benefits to that. One of the benefits is that um, it obviously reduces costs significantly. I'm talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars less. It is a big cost savings and that what makes it practical for us to offer that to our, to our clients because otherwise we have to charge a lot more money because we'd have to then deploy a Caterpillar one megawatt, um, Caterpillar two megawatts and so forth. And we do not want to do that. Um, then it makes it more um, streamlined, meaning that if you had, let's say, one megawatt Caterpillar container, I mean, uh, gen set, and you had an issue with that gen set, you lost one megawatt, right? Maybe you, you needed to change a sensor on it or something like that. Or maybe you, had, uh, you need to adjust the valve um, for some reason, whatever it is, right? Those things happen on gen sets. So what happens is your one megawatt goes offline for you know, a couple hours, maybe six hours, eight hours, 10 hours however long it takes. So that's an issue. That's a pretty big issue. And we are trying to reduce downtime. So with these smaller gen sets at 350, if we lose one of those gen sets because a sensor went down, you know, it happens. So maybe once in a while you get a sensor goes down. Um, you lose that one cabinet for, you know, that same amount of time, but you're losing one cabinet, which means that the rest of your two cabinets, right, the two thirds of your data center is still running just fine. So that's one of the big benefits here um, for this setup. Um, we're going to be running the switches dedicated to each of those cabinets, also the PDUs. So it's gonna be like nine, 10 PDUs dedicated to each of those cabinets. So you're literally just having those, uh, that one third of miners go down for a couple hours, come back online, you know, the other two thirds are just fine. So that's one of the benefits. Um, and then also, again, number one is just the cost. The costs are significantly more reduced, right? A lot less than it otherwise would have been which again provides that, uh, that cost savings that we can pass on to our customers. And so they don't end up paying double for a megawatt because of those very, very expensive one megawatt, two megawatt Caterpillar uh, gen sets. So that's how we solve that issue. Now in terms of uh, everything else, like in terms of uh, the Texas site, um, 
going through with all the regulations and all that stuff. So this the site in Texas is a lot easier to implement than than, the, than anything that you would do like in North Dakota. In North Dakota, we had to go through the county, we had to get an occupancy permit, we had to do all that stuff. For the Texas site, this is on a pad. So we are exempt from all the county rules and regulations and all that stuff. We are exempt from everything. Um, the site is on a pad. So the only one we're really talking to is going to be to the oil producer. So the oil producer is only interested in you know extracting oil and then uh, providing a uh, gas, um, a stranded gas for uh, to us for a fee. So that's how that's set up. And so um, <clears throat> uh, the deployment time is significantly reduced. Like you're literally talking about like four months of reduction in time, right? Instead of taking, you know, six months, something like that, you know, for the Texas, I mean, for the uh, North Dakota site, to deploy it from, from start to finish. You know, gotta go through all the county, get approval, go to the commissioners, all that stuff. And for the Texas uh, stranded gas site, you're talking about two months, you know. Once we get an order from um, uh, from uh, uh, one of our clients, right, someone jumps in and says, I want two, three megawatts. We put that order in for the containers, bam, we got three containers set up. Uh, we have these uh, gen sets available f uh, f immediately. They're all in the United States, they're in stock. There's like practically a hundred of these available, so we can pick these up as we go. So we're talking about, you know, two months, two months deployment time from uh, from uh, start to finish. So very very fast. Uh, but again, we just put these containers down. Uh, we're doing everything direct burial, so we don't need to do any conduits. We don't need to do any of that stuff. It's just direct burial. So you're just gonna have your one gen set going directly to your container, um, to the cabinet, directly to the cabinet, and you just have three gen sets per megawatt. So very 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 easy. Um, they're all sharing the same pipeline of natural gas um, and so forth. So very, very simple setup and cost effective. So um, yeah, that's how we plan on doing it. Uh, let's see, um, you know, internet connection. This is a remote site in Texas. So you have the benefit of you're far away from everyone. Um, it is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're gonna be using Starlink there for our internet connection. And by the way, uh, Starlink reliability has been great. For our North Dakota site, we basically never have downtime. We had like once or twice, you know, if you guys recall, a couple of months ago, the internet went down for a couple of states. And like, remember, you guys, uh, Verizon went down for a little bit in a couple of states. So that affected Starlink. Starlink went down a couple of hours, like it was like four hours it went down, it came back online, and that's it. That's literally what happened for the past, you know, almost a year of running over there. So. Um, it's, it's, uh, maybe it wasn't a year, but like eight months, I think we we're running over there. So it, it's been great. Uh, we have basically had never had any downtime for Starlink. That's exactly what we're going to be using in the Texas site. Um, and then, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, visiting the site, if you want to come out there and take a look at your megawatt that you got for yourself, you know, one, two, three, four, five megawatts, you want to come out there and take a look, you can do that as well at the Texas site. So again, it's remote, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get out there. You have to fly into to Dallas, and then you have to drive to the gas site a couple hours away. Um, that's uh, one of the negative sides of the Texas site, but again, it's remote, so that's key difference there. Um, and and a positive thing for the site is that it's so remote, no one cares, middle of nowhere, you know, and uh, you're very secure and all that stuff. But yeah, so if you want to jump in and get yourself one, two, three, four, five, ten megawatts all on stranded gas, you can do that at our site out in Texas. Um, otherwise, if you're looking to just build yourself your own data center, right? You want you have your own uh, site, uh, your plan on running uh, you know, off of Encore grid out in Texas, you want to do that, we can help you do that as well. Or if you maybe you have your own data center or planning to build your own data center in Oklahoma, Kansas, you know, any of those states, all work and can be done. Just contact us at cryptollc.org. Again, we do we buy and sell miners, so if you want to get yourself some miners, we do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys like it. And until next time, I will see you guys. Check out this weather here one more time for you guys. I know you guys are all jealous. All right, I know you, I know you guys are jealous, especially if you're from like Michigan or New York. It's freezing over there. And uh, here it's 80 degrees. So yes, let me know how jealous you are in the comment section. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Till next time. Bye-bye.